You probably didn't know this, but there are some powerful ways you can fall asleep even if you're not tired. So stick around because this is really going to be a powerful way. If you're insomniac, if you're just trying to fall asleep, if you're staying up late gaming or whatever it is you're doing and you just can't seem to actually make your body fall asleep, there's probably some powerful things that you could learn here. So number one, you need to, in the daytime, and this is where the preparation starts really, in the daytime you need to make yourself tired enough that when you go to sleep and actually try and fall asleep, you're tired enough that your body wants to sleep and is craving the sleep and the rest. If you're not tired enough, then you're going to have a hard time anyway. So the step, the first step is to make yourself tired enough that your body actually needs sleep uh, and wants to go to sleep fast. Secondly, you need to make sure your circadian rhythm is in check. So what I mean by that, you need to get outside in the daytime for long enough that the sunlight can actually enter your eyes, help you produce serotonin, and then eventually in the evening when the sun goes down, you need to stop looking at the light, stop looking at blue light, stop looking at your phone, okay? Stop looking at videos like this on YouTube, on your laptop screen, and let your body start producing melatonin, which is the hormone that actually helps you fall asleep. Without melatonin, you'll have a very hard time sleeping, and they actually prescribe melatonin as a sleep aid, as a sleep supplement. And that's because it works so well, so effectively, because your body produces it naturally every single day. But if you're looking at screens and TVs and laptops in the evening, your body won't be able to produce that melatonin, so you just won't fall asleep. So if you want to fall asleep faster and you're not tired yet, then that's probably something to focus on tomorrow or the next day, is to actually make sure you're getting enough sunlight in the day, and then you need to restrict your light that you're getting in the evening. You need to make sure it's a really clear contrast between, so when you wake up, the curtains are wide open, the light's flooding in, you know, you're going outside, you're looking around, you're in the sunlight, in the evening, however, you want to make things as dark as possible. You want to have mood lighting. You want to have like moon candles and LED soft light strips, candles even. You don't want to have screens on if you can help it. You don't want to be looking at your phone. You want to avoid all of that because that's going to keep you awake. So that is the powerful tip I wanted to share with you is to make sure that in the daytime, lots of light in the evening, not much light. Now, when you're actually laying there in bed and you're trying to fall asleep, this is what you're probably here for, right? There's a few things you can do. Number one, don't really bother counting or trying to visualize sheep going over a fence and things like that because that's gonna keep your mind awake. That's gonna keep you focused on something and actually that's not a good way to fall asleep. There's a good way to lucid dream because you're meant to keep your mind awake to lucid dream. However, to fall asleep faster, if you're not tired, that's probably one of the worst things to do because you're gonna be starting to think about things. You imagine the sheep jumping over the fence and then you th start thinking about sheep. Now you're thinking about steak and food, what you wanna eat for breakfast, what you're gonna do after lunch. It becomes a, chaos a chaotic mess. Don't think about anything other than counting one to 10 your breaths. You can either do that or you can just not even bother counting them. Literally just experience the breath. Just remember, you're breathing in, you're breathing out and just keep focusing only on that process, just on your breathing. And tell yourself that as you focus on that, you'll be more and more relaxed with every single breath. This is such a powerful way of doing it. And if you wanna make this even more effective, by the way, you can combine this with what is called box breathing. Now, box breathing, the military use this to actually fall asleep faster and also to limit their stress response to really stressful situations. So here's how you do it. You're gonna count, count to four. So you're going to count four seconds with your breathing in, you're going to hold your breath for four seconds, and then you're going to breathe out for four seconds, and then hold your breath that you've all breathed out for another four seconds. So each part of this box is going to take four seconds. So I'll do one process now just so you can get the idea. So we'll breathe in, and then we hold it, and then you breathe out, and then you hold it down here. And that's one box, that's one set. And uh, you can continue to do this, and already I feel more relaxed actually. But you can continue to do that and your body will fall asleep really fast, even if you're not tired. Even if you've been neglecting the other things I mentioned, the exercise, the circadian rhythm, you know, getting yourself out and uh, getting enough sunlight that box breathing method will help you fall asleep really quickly. So leave a comment letting me know how long it takes you to fall asleep normally. I'd really like to know. And also don't forget to check out my other videos on my channel about lucid dreaming, sleep tips, sleep health, and all of that stuff. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching guys. This video and this channel are supported by my Patreon followers. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel or just click the links in the description. You'll find links to various Lucid Dreaming products, articles, techniques and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video, please click the notification bell and subscribe and I'll see you next time.